Well, it's a great pleasure to uh, introduce Bernadette Felch today. She is the uh, president of the Bavarian Cycling Association. My name is Christoph Mauch. I'm the director of the Rachel Carson Center. And it's my pleasure to moderate this Tuesday's discussion. And I'm alternating with Gisa Lüdecke. Um, I, uh, I was really fascinated when I looked Bernadette Felch up on the internet and <laughs> realized we could have invited her for all sorts of things. Uh, we could have invited her because she is well. She she is now the, the president of the Bavarian Cycling Association. She was the vice president of the German Cycling Association before, but she was also a member of or is a member of the Initiative for Social Housing. Uh, she's a member of the Forum for Urban Development in Munich. She's been a Green Party animal in Munich in different districts. <laughs> And um, she, uh, she's been working for the city of Munich uh, in the environmental division for quite some time. Uh, originally, uh, she worked in a travel agency in Freiburg, did her training there, her apprenticeship, went from there briefly to Switzerland and to Granada. Uh, and um, then she moved back to Munich or back to Bavaria, because that's where she originally is from. She left only for briefly to be in Freiburg in the city of the bicycles, I always noticed that Freiburg is a city where everybody is wearing a helmet. And she worked uh, uh, for a travel agency, I should say that, called Gleis Nos, that focuses entirely on uh, trains, train travel. So if you ever want to go around the globe by train, go to Gleis Nos in Freiburg. That's where she worked. Anyways, uh, she came back to Bavaria and she did something that is so smart. If I had known about it, it's like she attended the dual university, uh, which means you get paid for study. Uh, and you become an administrator, uh, Diplom Verwaltungswirtin. Uh, and so she, she studied here in Munich and then she also studied political science. One of her diplomas was about the question of why, and that's something she was always interested in, why in the world are there just a few people owning all the real estate in Munich? Why is just a few people? So it was always about social housing. Uh, she worked uh, in... Um, in the office of the green mayor, and that's where she currently is working. There is a green mayor, not the Lord Mayor, but a green mayor. There's been quite a few green mayors, uh, but uh, when there was no green mayor, she worked in the environmental division. But today we didn't invite her, even though she's one of the really important, for us important people out of the 40,000 employees of the city of Munich. Uh, we didn't invite her for that reason, but we invited her because she's the president of the Cycling Association of Bavaria. And so please join me in welcoming Bernadette Felch. Thank you very much. That was really a kind and perfect introduction, Crystal. <laughs> so I will share now my screen. So, because I have a little presentation for you. Hope you can see it now. Yeah, it looks like that. At first, I have to apologize that my English has become a little bit, uh, let's say, rusty because I had no occasion to talk in English for some years now. Uh, this is really a pity, but I will try my very best. As I have only 10 minutes, let's start with my presentation on the German Bicycle Association, ADFC. The ADFC is an NGO founded in 1979 in Bremen by Jan Tebbe as a counterbalance to the German automobile club, the ADAC. It is divided federally in 16 regional associations for each federal state and in 470 district associations, and it has 70 branches. It has around 10,000 volunteers who do bicycle projects on site, and it is growing and has actually over 200,000 members in Germany, more than 30,000 of them in Bavaria, and it is the biggest member of the European Bicycle Foundation, the ECF, and also the biggest member of the World Cycling Alliance. But though we are growing and the ADEC is shrinking, it's still a David versus Goliath relation. The ADAC has over 2 million members. Also, that's at least not nowhere near every car owner in Germany. Now the ADFC in a nutshell. The ADFC wants more people of all ages to cycle more often and we offer member services. The ADFC sees itself as lobbyist and service provider for all people who are using bikes or would like to use a bike. And the commitment of the ADFC is mainly based on two pillars. One is cycling tourism and the other one is transport policy. Just as our big brother, the ADAC, 
We have some special services for our members. For example, it's the roadside assistant, liability and legal protection insurance. We have the Radwelt magazine. At the ADAC, it's a motor world, which uh, really shows the difference. We have information for bike tours. We have reduced participation fees for bike tours, lectures, and seminars for our members. And we do consumer protection for everything that the bike, bicycle industry produces. Contrary to the ADAC, and because bikes are the most environmental friendly mode of transport, apart from walking, of course, we see ourselves as an environmental NGO. And we are cooperating with many other NGOs and organizations who promote safe and ecologic traffic. As I said before, one of our main pillars is uh, cycling tourism. And we have an own company called Bed and Bike that unites more than uh, 5,800 bike-friendly hotels. And at the world's largest uh, tourism fair, the ITB in Berlin, we always present the bike travel analysis, Radreiter Analyse, which documents the trends in cycle tourism. Just for spoiling, cycle tourism is growing and growing for many years now. We promote also touristic bike routes all over the world and publish two special bike magazines for cycling tourism. One is called Discover Germany by Bike and the other one is called Bike Vacation. And last but not least, we are coordinating over 2,700 tour guides who are organizing more than 10,800 bike tours per year. Most are day trips, but many are longer too, up to two or three weeks. But mostly we see ourselves as lobbyists for better cycling conditions. And to my mind, there is still very, very, very much to do. We are political neutral, but we are not neutral to bad conditions. Fighting for safety and the rights of cyclists is especially my main task as president of the ADSC Bavaria here in Bavaria. So I am talking to politicians and to planners. I am pushing grassroots initiatives at the 11 Bavarian Ratentscheid referendums, and I am giving interviews or speeches. And we are campaigning. For example, we initiated the Bike to Work campaign. And we are doing the Fahrrad Klima Test. This is a huge survey asking people how safe and good they feel as cyclists in their cities. But our biggest goal is the Verkehrswende. And I have no idea how to translate this in English. Maybe it's something like traffic turnarounds or something like that. But uh, to my mind, is it essential to have less cars because less cars and more biking would be a perfect answer on climate change, on growing numbers of cars and people, limited space, etc. Most distances are very short and electrical assistance and special bikes make cycling easy for most people. You have to know that half of all trips by cars are less than five kilometers long, 70% are shorter than 10 kilometers. And both are distances you can manage very well by bike. We are not fighting against car drivers and we accept that we cannot replace every car trip by bike trips. But if you would only reduce those stupid short distance car trips, there would be 70% less car traffic in Germany. And this means that the life of all of us would be safer and better even for those who really need their car. But on the way to this goal, there are many, many obstacles. Uh, not only people who cannot imagine living without an own car, but also legal regulations that focus only on cars. This is why we fight for traffic law that focuses on ecological means of transport. Here, you can see the president of ADFC Germany handing over our draft of such a road traffic law to Andrea Scheuer, our Minister of Transport. In Bavaria, we are fighting since 2018 for a Bavarian bicycle law. And this idea has become very popular to many Bavarian politicians, but unfortunately not yet to the Bavarian state government. But we hold on with our fight for this bicycle law. Most people tell us that they don't feel safe while using a bike because of missing or bad infrastructure. And this is not just a feeling, contrary to the global trend, a growing number of cyclists is injured or even killed on our streets every year. Another problem is that many regulations which could protect cyclists are not controlled very well, especially parked cars on sidewalks and bike paths are tolerated nearly everywhere and every time. On top, many framework conditions don't help bringing more people on bikes. 
For example, when there is no opportunity to park your bike well and safe at home or at the train station. In the end, it's always a question of space and most space in our cities is dedicated to cars. This is what needs to be changed. And this is why we started the campaign More Space for Bikes and a hashtag Mehr Platz fürs Rad was trending very well and quickly on social media. Last not least, I'd like to show you how good infrastructure should look like. We published this brochure here and you can download it on our website. We sent it to all ministries and the city administration, but I think even better than printed paper is learning from others. The most effective thing is to let people experience themselves how good it feels to cycle on good infrastructure. Therefore, we organized a few trips for politicians and planners to Copenhagen and the Netherlands. And here are a few pictures that show the difference very well, I think. These are pictures from Copenhagen, where you feel, will find spectacular cycle bridges and parking facilities only for bikes. Things that are in Germany a matter of course for cars, but definitely not for bikes. It is obviously, here you can see it, that there's much more space for cyclists in Copenhagen and you always know where to cycle next, while in Germany you often can find an ongoing bike pass at too many, too dangerous traffic junction. To my mind, the best place for cycling are the Netherlands. You will find cycle lanes everywhere and everybody can recognize them easily by the red pavement. Even in between cities, you will find good cycling routes. And in inner city, it is clear that car drivers have to respect cyclists as equal road users. As you can see here on the road sign in this picture, uh, cars are only guests in this cycling street. But you don't have to travel to the Netherlands. Some cities in Germany are already on the way to becoming cycling, cycling cities too. Here on the left side, for example, are two pictures from a bicycle bridge on the bike station at the central station in Freiburg. And on the right side, you can see a typical cycling route in Münster. But now I would like to come to an end and I'm looking forward for uh, the discussion and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.